Hi, my name is Srikanth and I'm the co-founder of Diabito. And today I'm gonna take you through the new Diabito Android application and show you how to manually enter the readings and also take you through our new Diabito Cloud application. I've downloaded the Diabito application and now I'm going to sign up. I'm going to enter my first name, my last name, and my email address. And my password. I'm going to set my password now and I'm going to sign up. Once you have signed in in the Diabito application, the first screen which you will see is the settings screen. The first field says, scan Diabito ID if using hardware, else leave blank if entering BG manually. Now do not get confused by this sentence because right now you are not gonna use any Diabito hardware and that's why please leave this field blank. The second field is select glucometer. I am using One Touch Ultra Easy glucometer and that's what I've selected. The third field is your glucose units. I'm in India and um, we use MG per DL. But if, you're used, if you are in the UK, you can select millimole per liter. The fourth field is your blood glucose range, your desired blood glucose range. It's by default 80 and 120 and that's fine by me. Um, the fifth field is hyperglycemia. Now this is something which is completely gonna be different for different per, for people. So for me the hyperglycemia is 150 and hypoglycemia for me is 50. The next field is the insulin. That is if you're taking insulin in your current diabetes regime, then you can select yes. I'm not taking insulin any uh, right now so um, I'm gonna select no. The next field is the profile field, which is simply you have to enter your profile, uh, enter all your details. You can even select your background image, you can select your own image, and you can uh, select all these fields. The next field is the diabetes reminder, which is a feature wherein the application can remind you when to take the next blood glucose reading. Right now, I have uh, disabled it. So that's it, this is for the setting screen. Now I think it is time to take the first reading. We have made the entire process of taking a new reading super simple. All you have to remember is to just click on the plus button. Now this plus button will appear on every screen. That is logbook screen, your analysis screen, setting screen, and of course the main screen. So let's just press on the new add entry button and uh, Basically, I'm feeling excited. My blood glucose was very nice. It was 85 mg per DL. Super lucky. I had actually eaten a small snack, so I'll just click on post meal. Uh, I can also take the picture of the food which I've eaten. The carbs, it was a small snack. Uh, it was about 20 grams. The activity was, I actually walked for about 30 minutes after that and uh, I can also write walking and you can also enter any notes if you want to remember anything about this reading I don't want to remember anything because obviously it was just a small snack and walking so what I'll do is I'll just enter and voila the reading has come on the first that is the main screen now if you see if I have to go on to the logbook the logbook is simply your logbook for the day week month and year obviously this is my first reading so it's just showing me that after you start taking new readings the all the entries will be starting to appear here this is the analysis screen uh, it gives you more detailed analysis uh, for the day week and obviously there will be a, a line graph which will be plotted here as you start taking the readings and this is your setting screen which you are already familiar with. We also have the side view screen. 
Now, if you see that all the screens which we had mentioned here, that is the logbook analysis settings and the home, they are also available here in the side view controller. And this is this Diabetes support panel where you have fields like such as FAQs. All the FAQs will be mentioned here. The glossary that is, you know, if you want to actually know uh, all the terms which you have already used um, in the application, they are all standardized terms. Um, support and feedback. You can also share the Diabetes application with your fellow diabetes friends. And obviously you can log out whenever you want to. The logout button is also mentioned in the settings screen. That's it about the mobile application. Now let's log in into the Diabeto cloud. Open your favorite browser and type in my.diabe.to. This what I'll do is that I'll use the same username and password which I have used for the Diabito Android application and try to log in into my account. I've logged in into my account and it asked me to first fill the profile. There are some of the details which have already uh, it's been taken from the mobile application what I'll do is that I'll just select the birth date and I'll just write the number for now and a dummy address and I'll click on save changes and now this is the first screen which I see is that it's the panel of all the doctors. Now these are all the endocrinologists which are there on our panel right now. And if I want to take a new teleconsultation appointment, I can select one of the doctors. So let's try and take a teleconsultation from Dr. Gaurav Beswal. What I'll do is that I'll select the time and date I want to take a teleconsultation on the 5th of October. There are two slots free on the 6th of October. I'll take the 6.30 p.m. Click on the checkout. And the consultation is for 600 rupees for 30 minutes. If you are testing the application, then you would be getting a free coupon code. If you have that free coupon code, you can apply it here. I have a free coupon code. I'm going to apply it here and proceed. And it says payment successful. The coupon was successfully applied. And my appointment with Gaurav Beswal on the 5th of October at 6.30 p.m. has been booked. Really looking forward to it. And uh, that was the telemedicine part. Now you can also check your readings. If you remember I had taken my first reading and it was 85 and it was synced here. On the right hand side what I can do is that I can select a time frame from where I want to see the readings. The time frame selected is from 9th to the 10th. It's just one day. Now this is an amazing feature which is that you know you can select and segregate the readings according to the mood, the meal type, the hours, the glucose, the basal and bolus if you are taking insulin and also the carbs. Now obviously there is no reading which shows here with, which has all these factors. So what I'll do is that I'll deselect all these factors right now. Obviously, you're going to see more of these readings when you have more of the data. And it shows me the f reading which I had taken, which is 85. In here, it's the it's your account. You can also have uh, invoices once you have started taking the teleconsultations. And this is obviously the terms of use and the privacy policy 
which you have already said yes to because if you want to make an account you need to agree to the terms of use and privacy policy the frequently asked questions can also be found here and still if you have issues with the beta testing or when you start using the Diabito cloud you can send us a query the query will straight away be coming to us whenever you are looking at the appointments you know all the appointments will be coming onto the my appointment screen in this screen you see that you know it's showing me the appointment which i've already booked on the october 5th and this is where your video consultation will be happening when i allow obviously my face would be coming here and when the doctor logs in his face would be appearing you can also chat with the doctor and also you can have notes as well so that's about it about the diabeto cloud and i can log out right now well that's about it if you still have any questions about the diabeto android application or the diabeto cloud application then do get in touch and email us at contact us at diabe.to thank you and let's fight diabetes together with Diabito, your friend in diabetes.